GeoPlanner helps you create, analyze, and report on alternative planning scenarios to help you make better, more informed decisions. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to create a simple GeoPlanner project, bring your data into a scenario, and get metrics on that data. After you sign into GeoPlanner, you have the option of creating a new or opening an existing project. Let's create a new project. Projects are created from templates, and templates contain symbols, attributes, default values, and a dashboard. You can preview the symbols available in a template so you can see the types available for sketching and design. Let's create a project from the basic template. This template contains basic polygon, polyline, and point symbols. You can customize the symbols to fit your planning domain after you create a project. This template also contains a dashboard with a few key performance indicators or KPIs. Once the project has been created, the app opens and displays a base map zoomed to the extent defined in the template. GeoPlanner allows us to reach out to ArcGIS Online or Portal for ArcGIS and discover data sets. Let's find some planning data and start a design. This browser allows us to filter by several criteria to find the data we want. In this case, I'm looking for a San Diego County parcels layer that I previously shared to ArcGIS Online. Now that we've found my data, let's zoom to it and take a look. Notice that the contents pane is divided into three sections. The active scenario section contains my design layers. These are layers that can participate in a scenario. We propose design alternatives by sketching and painting in these layers. The Layers section contains data to help us understand an area before we change it. Items in the Layers section cannot be edited but can be converted to design layers. And finally, the Base Map section contains one of the 12 different base maps available on ArcGIS Online. Let's convert this parcels layer to a design layer so we can use it in a scenario to model land use transitions. We simply click the Add to Design Layers tool, and GeoPlanner will copy the features, symbols, attributes, and default values into a new design layer. Some GeoPlanner templates contain key performance indicators, or KPIs. KPIs help us understand progress toward a goal or planning objective. KPIs execute an equation that can reference attributes, constants, and area or perimeter measurements. You can create new or customize existing KPIs in GeoPlanner's dashboard. In this case, let's change the area and square kilometers KPI. I can change the range, the target, the scenario layer against which the KPI computes, or the equation. Our dashboard now shows the total square kilometers in our scenario in the parcels data. This helps us understand our base or existing conditions. Next, we could use GeoPlanner scenario tools to create alternatives to these base conditions and model future possibilities. Stay tuned for more GeoPlanner videos to help you plan and test scenarios so you can make better, more informed decisions.